Hi, my name is Rachel Lee. Uh, I work at the Purdue Physics and Astronomy Department with Professor Dan Mili Savlovich. Uh, I currently work with him on supernova remnants and supernova, so basically the death of stars and going beyond the death of stars and kind of how we can learn more about that. Um, so Purdue is very much a research-based school. There are a lot of opportunities to do undergraduate research. There are a lot of professors who are always looking for undergrads and they love helping with the experience of helping undergraduates conduct some research before they go into grad school and really figuring out what they like about physics and what kind of path they want to take within the physics field. I really got interested in space actually when I was a very small child. I always found myself kind of looking out of my bedroom window at night instead of you know sleeping like I was supposed to. Um, and I was always very fascinated with the stars and what was out there. And then as I started getting older and I started taking more intense math classes and physics classes, specifically in high school, and I became really intrigued by these subjects, I kind of figured out that you know, there was a way for me to connect these math and physics heavy courses with my love for the stars. And so I kind of just pursued physics and astronomy kind of came along with it. You know, when I was in high school, the, the love for astrophysics kind of started there with my first ever physics class. I thought it was the coolest thing I've ever done. It was so cool to learn about the universe and kind of just the world around us in terms of math. I found that incredibly interesting and really cool, actually. So I pursued astrophysics here at Purdue. And, you know, at Purdue, I really found the niche that I enjoyed. I really like, you know, stars is kind of a broad term, but I really like supernovae and supernova remnants. Um, but I also have an intense fascination for the formation and evolution of stars. So everything there is to know about stars was, was kind of just a very cool part to me, and that's what I always kind of wanted to pursue. While I want to do research, I also really want to be a professor after grad school. That's, you know, helping people learn and really sort of igniting a passion within them is something that I've always kind of wanted to do. And so being a professor, I'd really be able to, you know, reach a diverse group of students and audiences and kind of ignite a passion for physics and space within them through teaching. You know, my experience with being a woman in physics and being a woman in STEM in general, it's been slightly difficult. There's always these stories of women in STEM and how they face these challenges. You know, it hurts at first, but you kind of, you get this skin and it's very thick and you kind of realize that there are a lot of things that you can do to kind of like win the approval of other people, but it's not about them. It's always going to be about your drive and your dedication and your skills. So never let them stop you from doing what you want to do.